My name is Erin Shaw. I am a painter living and working in Oklahoma City. So uh, for the last couple years, I have been exploring this idea uh, about the relationship between what is seen and what is unseen. And I've been working uh, from the premise that, that everything that is seen is made from what is unseen. So as I started thinking about uh, the Return to Exile show, I was bringing those thoughts into this work. And um, as I started thinking about uh, exile and removal and all of these ideas, uh, I realized that the, the relationship between what is seen and unseen in relationship to exile in my own experience and is, it actually fits together uh, quite, uh, quite well. So when I started thinking about the themes of exile, I realized that actually it, that really describes a lot of my experience as I've kind of begun to uh, understand my own American Indian heritage and, and uh, all of the reasons that I, I sort of, as I was raised, away from my uh, I mean, real cultural understanding or identity that the feelings of exile I really, in my own way, I really identify with and that there's a lot of good reasons why um, I have kind of been separated from those things and so in a lot of ways I feel like those aspects of my own identity have been unseen and it's this process of discovering and connecting and seeking that has sort of um, begun to to manifest itself and become like a reality, an, an external reality in my life. So the work I did for Return to Exile is um, is sort of uh, the way that things that are that are hidden, that aren't underst understood or known, become um, they sort of uh, kind of unravel and kind of become fleshed and seen in the material world. And so these are kind of the the things that I was thinking about as I was working on these paintings and. Um, here it is. My work is always really invested in stories and investigating stories and the way stories function for people. So I realized that um, stories, a lot of times the stories we tell are very linear, but the actual stories that we live are not linear at all. And so I began to work on round canvases because I felt like it was more indicative of our experience as humans and the way that our stories actually happen and evolve and relationships and cycles and seasons and so the round canvases are something that I continue to utilize and um, in this particular work for Return to Exile there obviously are pieces that are missing uh, from the actual imagery of the bird and <clears throat> I think um, I enjoy when that happens as well because I think there's parts of our stories that sometimes are obscured we don't exactly understand or connect with as well um, as other aspects. So uh, the string, this is, um, the string is an element within my work that it continues to be there. When I'm making these background images, uh, when the paint is wet, I'm always laying string into them. And uh, the line that it creates is really chaotic and, and interesting. And it always speaks to the way that I feel like I navigate through my stories, my experiences, and then the string gets pulled out. And um, so this uh, this canvas right here is um, is a representation of the string being wound up around something that's unseen, and and then the way that uh, the bird begins to um, become enfleshed and emerge out of that thing.